Hi guys, it's Carmen here. I'm one of the designers here at Mako um, and I just wanted to come in today to give you guys a couple of tips and tricks using our stoneware crystal glazes. So to start with we have Muddy Waters. Um, Muddy Waters has a brown base glaze with crystals in it that create a really nice blue glossy movement in the glaze. So if you do really like that blue gloss variation that happens with the glaze, I would recommend making sure you're applying your glaze heavy. So basically you just do three nice good coats, letting it dry in between, making sure your brush is loaded with crystals when you're applying the coats of glaze, and that's how you're going to get a lot more of the results that looks like this tile here. If you are a fan of the kind of brown matte uh, base glaze of it, similar to this uh, latte cup here. I would just recommend pulling your coats a little bit thinner, maybe doing two coats instead of three coats, not as many crystals. So the less glaze, the less crystals, the more brown it's going to be, the more glaze, the more crystals, the more blue and glossy it's going to be. Um, another tip to kind of have it be a little bit more of the base glaze would be to actually just use the base glaze with it. So as far as Muddy Waters goes, the base glaze for that is leather. Um, and if you check on our labels on the suggestions and tips section of them, all of our crystal glazes will list their base glaze, um, which is really helpful information to have. When you get to the bottom of your pint of glaze, you have a lot of crystals, you don't know what to do with all of them. You could layer them with that base glaze and kind of extend the life of your crystal glaze. Um, Another thing that you can find on the label is going to be whether or not our glazes are food or dinner were safe. As far as all of our crystal glazes go, they are all both food safe and dinnerware safe. So there's nothing to worry about there, but if you want to, feel free to check the labels on all of our products um, and those will be listed there. Um, and then as far as performance goes, this glaze is actually a really, really stable glaze. So you don't really have to worry about it running off onto your shelf or anything like that. Um, aside from, I guess the crystal loading would be the only concern there. Um, as with all of our crystal glazes, we recommend that towards the bottom of your piece, if you do have a really, really heavy concentration of crystals, maybe flake a couple of those crystals off. Maybe only do two coats at the bottom if you are at a part, part of your pint that does have a really heavy concentration of crystals. Um, as you can see here, these crystals do create a little bit of movement. So if you have a lot of them at your at the bottom of your piece, um, that would be just something of concern. It's pretty easy, especially once the glaze is dry, just kind of like flake it off with your hand and um, then you wouldn't have anything to worry about there. So those are my tips and tricks for our brand new glaze, Muddy Waters. Um, and stay tuned, I'll give you some more for our Desert Dusk and Night Moth. Thanks, guys.